Hello, it's me, Rich Face, back again for my life, my way, my face buried in a book. And if I'm not as um, gestury during my book review today, it's because I messed up my left arm yesterday and it's still a little bit sore. So it just sort of is chilling for a while while I um, rest and recover. The only thing is, is that I normally tend to hold a book I found out with my left arm. So I can't hold my paperbacks at the moment and read comfortably. So I have been reading off my little Kindle. Which, thankfully, I can still tap the screen with my right hand while I'm chilling. I'm just sitting in nice, comfortable positions. So I've read five short books. Now, when I say short, I mean like they're between like 50 and 150 pages. So like quick and easy reads, which has been really nice because I can't really focus on anything that's too like heavy at the moment. So my Kindle's been perfect. So I have read, so they're all from the same author. So I have been reading Rebecca Gallo. I found her on Book Talk TikTok. And I was like, oh yeah, their books look interesting. So I'm just gonna browse Kindle and pick up a few. Ah uh, yeah. I've picked up quite a few and there's quite a few more that I'm going to pick up so that I can keep reading but the five that I've read so far are there. So I don't know whether you'll be able to see them really but I have read uh, Dear Mr. Temporary, Forever True, A Academic Integrity, Mr. Cream and Cowboy's Melody. So they are all of the spice genre. They all focus around really two characters, which I really like. You don't get, you get a lot of insight into the main relationship. Not a lot of backstory into other characters and anything like that, which is fine because these are just quick reads that are really like enthralling for the time that you've got them. And I really like that. So the first one I read was Mr. Cream, which is based around Devon and Ambrosia's relationship. Which is really cool because Devon is looking for a surrogate so that he can have a child of his own because he is from a, a successful business and he doesn't really have time for, well he doesn't really want to play games. He wants to have a family so he goes looking for, he hires a company to help him find a surrogate. Along the way he runs along with into Ambrosia and it's just that. I love that in like 60 or 70 pages, it still manages to have quite a lot of ups and downs in their relationship. So that's really interesting and really cool to watch. So I really did enjoy that. And that was like the first one that I read. And I was like, oh, yep, okay, this is an author that I'm going to enjoy reading a bit more of. And then I read Forever True, which is a, which is really cool because this one is an Irish, so they're Irish characters. I'm pretty sure they're, well, they're Irish characters, which is really cool. And it is Connor and Bridget, or Brigitte, or I don't know, but I call her Bridget because that's just what was easiest in my brain to understand. Connor is a rock star, or a pop star, rock star, I should say. And it is all about how he hires his longtime best friend to be his personal assistant, and all the ups and downs of personal assistant turning into girlfriend and then protecting her from the publicity and the fans and how that can sometimes backfire and what you do what he does to make amends to her for it so again 60 70 pages lots of ups and downs lots of intrigue lots of engaging aspects of it and just the right amount of spice then what did I read next oh then I read Dear Mr. Temporary which is for Archie and Lane. And Lane comes from a successful fam, a, yeah, a successful family. And she's a successful lawyer and her sister is getting married. And it's all about whether she needs a plus one for the wedding. You also get a lot of family drama in this one. Turns out that the matchmaker that Lane uses, uh, the rule is that you write three letters, handwritten letters, to the person that she's setting you up with. You don't know their name. She gives you like a secret identity. 
you write to that and they write back and you do this three you have to do three letters back and forth before you can meet face to face and then when she meets him face to face they turn out to know each other and it's all about how it sort of was an enemies to lovers but not really in that and how he becomes so ingrained in her life and how he teaches her to stand up for herself and how she eventually does figure out that she deserves better and deserves to be treated better so I really liked that aspect of it then I went on to read Academic Integrity which is Julian and Megan's story so when you start reading it it's like oh yes these two teachers met over in London and they formed a bond and then she moved back to her home country of America and he's followed her over to continue the relationship it's only when he gets over here that he finds out she wasn't entirely truthful about things mainly her age she's still legal but mainly her age which becomes a bit of an issue for him because he is older and I really liked the age difference it was a nice one and then this is one of the ones where there is a bit of like backstory into or side story into other characters very annoying character by the name of Stephanie I did not like her at all and Samuel who has a spin-off book so I'll be very interested to read that one but theirs is very much a interesting because whilst they all have different aspects of spice this is the first time where like a daddy kink came into it and it's like oh okay this one's yep okay this one took spicy to a bit of a different level really enjoyable though still and really nice heart to the end of the story because it's very much a he's not going to let anything happen and even if it happened to her and even if he's the one that's possibly at, like he's the one who's possibly going to cause her pain or something he does is going to cause pain to her and her career he's going to take a take steps to make sure that doesn't happen which was really nice to see that he was going to put her first no matter what and then the last one I read was Cowboy's Melody which is Brooks and Teddy Brooks is a single father Teddy is a country superstar they meet and then it's how he Brooks navigates falling in love with a country superstar while still keeping his daughter safe and making sure that she's still being looked after in the best possible way and fighting his own internal battle and then Teddy fighting her own internal battle of whether she wants to start a normal life or continue her successful country singing career so yeah I would highly recommend if you are just like even if you're just in like a reading funk or a slump or something where you just don't know what to read next these books are amazing so it's Rebecca Gallo and it comes up on Amazon as Rebecca Gallo and the Flirt Club authors so I think there's like a little group of them but I don't know whether that's still a thing but either way really great books really quick and easy to read I highly recommend okay let me know if you give any of them a read which ones are your favorites I'm now going to go and check out some more Amazon books on Kindle and see if I can get some more of these and yeah that's it for me for tonight all right bye